right, today we are looking at the DeSantis Thumbbrake Scabbard Holster. Mine happens to be for the 1911. Um, it's a leather holster. They are unlined unless you special order it that way. Um, you can get them in black and tan. And they actually, there is a version without the thumb brake. I got the one uh, with the thumb brake just for added security. Now, as far as quality, um, just about everywhere it needs to be, it's double stitched. It's pretty good. It, it's held up for quite a long time. I've been wearing it off and on for about six years, give or take. And I gotta say, it's held up fairly well. I mean, there you can see on the back, there is, you know, somewhere, you know, the finish has come off and whatnot. And, you know, there's a lot of creasing and everything in the thumb brake because of use. But it is held up very well. It's still good and rigid where it needs to be. You know, it's obviously it's broken down and it's flexible where it needs, you know, where it uh, gets used. But the holster itself has definitely stood the test of time. Now, one of the nice things about this holster is um, it's a scabbard style holster, but it allows you to wear it at two different angles. And I'll show you that in a minute, but you can carry it in more of a vertical uh, position, and then you can carry it canted forward, which is good for if you're driving a lot, because especially if you've got a larger gun, the butt of the gun might uh, dig into behind you and wear a hole in your seat. So it's nice to have a little bit of cant, cant forward and plus it uh, helps with the concealability of the gun a little bit. Um, so with that I will show you what it looks like on a belt. Alright so it's kind of a weird angle so bear with me. So here's how it rides on your belt. Now I'm wearing a decent belt so it does support the holster. Um, and like I said it's a pretty good angle pretty good draw um, fairly easy fairly nice to reholster uh, the nice thing about the thumb brake is it's loose enough where you can carry it um, hammer down you know if that's how you choose to carry it you can carry it hammer down or you can carry it how it was intended for the 1911 to be carried. Cocked and locked. So that is the one nice thing. And gun draws out pretty nice. You know, obviously, like I said, the holster is unlined. But, you know, after a few years of use, or you can condition it yourself, it's a pretty smooth draw and, and reholster. Um, as I said, it does support the gun pretty nice. The, the areas here are reinforced. So as long as you've got a good belt, you shouldn't have any problems with sagging. Now, about the only issue I've ever had with it is if you carry it in the belt loop that has it more on a cant, it does lower the gun a little bit lower down uh, your side and if you're only wearing a t-shirt, you can have issues with the bottom of the holster sticking out of the shirt. Now, that's not really the holster's fault, but it's just, um, it would have been nice to see maybe the um, loops be a little bit lower, raising the gun up a little bit higher, which, you know, is kind of a personal preference because that would have made drawing, you know, bringing the gun up higher would have made drawing a little bit harder, whereas where it is, it's, it's not a bad draw. So, I'll show you without the gun, um, you know, it does ride pretty nice, and it's very, very comparable, um, you know, like I've said in past videos, is the key to having, being able to carry something like a full-size 1911, this is a commander, is having a good holster. You know, if you've got a cheap holster, something that's not going to support the gun, and actually I can show you, you know, on your side... You know, it, it doesn't, it's it's not sagging at all. You know, I've got, I'm wearing, you know, a decent belt and a decent holster, and there's no sag. You know, with a cheap belt or a cheap holster, you would see some sag where, you know, there is none with something like this. So, you know, 
I've worn it for several years and had no issues. And if you're looking for a good belt holster for the 1911, you know, something outside the waistband, I would definitely consider uh, giving this a try. So, oh, and that's the holster on my side, and here it is again. And the thing I'll show you is a lot of people ask about thumb brakes on holster. Um, you know, say you're drawing, the thumb brake is very intuitive, very, uh, you know, very easy to do. Uh, I'll show you, you know, people ask all the time about them. You know, very easy to grip and break open and draw the gun. So, definitely a good holster. Like I said, you know, I've worn it for several years without issue. And definitely one I would recommend. So, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. And have a good day.